Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episodes 11 and 12 of Sugar Apple Fairy Tales. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 11 in 3, 2, 1, go. That surely is about to talk to that girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we not talk about her? <laughs> Like, oh my god, I'm so in love with you. I mean, get, get in line, girl. Get in line. We all in love with him. Girl, the rift with my babies. I cannot. Like, this is too much. Ugh. Love. <laughs> you want to talk to him now? Uh. Oh, will you shut up? Well, feel the same. You know, on if you really want to, just talk to Shadow about it. You know, like, as a date, kind of. Mm. Come on, don't apologize. Because she's upset slash jealous. It's what we do. Yeah. The blind girl who was flirting with you? Yeah. 
Sir, you can't say that. Sir, it's three o'clock in the morning. Hi, Surrey. It's three o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. Hush! It's three o'clock in the morning. Stop making me feel seen. Stop, uh, feeling some type of way at three o'clock in the morning. You shut up. Well, that was quick. Thanks for telling us. You were still alive and didn't die. Maybe the world would have been different. But that doesn't mean that it can't change. You still have a possibility for it to change, though. The swing. All it took was going on a date with your boyfriend.
just for support. Mm. No, <laughs> yeah. I think she's gonna in the end make a fairy and a human together. And, you know, she couldn't really come to you because of Bridget. <laughs> oh, that's just jealousy. <laughs> Right? I mean, you know, yon yon. Baby is still trying, even with the fact that no guy literally wants to help her. Because, I mean, yes, once again, as we saw in the previous two episodes, they're not going to treat her like a girl. They're going to literally treat her like a freaking dude and be like, hey, you got to keep up with the rest of us. Even though you don't have the greatest muscle mass and... You three. Muscle and everything else. But she's trying. And I have to once again give her A for effort. She's doing her best. Yes. That's a little weird that you want to do an inspection on her. I mean, have you done that with anyone else? You sure? Oh, it's beautiful. Oh, baby, that is just gorgeous. It looks really similar, like, you know how, like, some glass art is, like, ugh, to die for? Look at that. i buy that. If that was real, I know that'd be, like, over a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, maybe a million dollars, but I would save up just to buy that and put that in my house. Mm 
Don't be jealous. <laughs> mm, it's you. What do you want? a little weird how your uncle says she, he wants to see her. You ain't here to secretly sabotage her work or even take it for yourself with credibility. This is a trap. Well, oh, because she's better than you? <laughs> but <laughs> and that has to either be boiling hot water or sh sugar. Oh, God, let me just, huh, mm -hmm. yes, just, mm. <sighs> No, it's not your fault. At least you came. No, oh, honey, it's okay. Bye. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. oh, oh my god. Did you see the baby? He pulled her into But ho hold on, wait. What if Jonas didn't know? Wait! It was Sammy. Jonas knew nothing about what Sammy was going to do. This mother of her right here. Hold up now. Boy. I mean, he probably lied to you before and you just don't think he did.
Yeah, you could have even orchestrated it as well and just not have told your nephew. That's bullshit. That really is because, okay, she, she makes a gorgeous, beautiful, good behind work of art. Excuse me. Let's get three o'clock in the morning. She gets the praise that she really hopes for. She's like, yeah, I got high hopes and everything, even though she has not seen the rest of these guys' stuff. And then even Keith says something to her about it, you know, saying like, hey, even though Sammy said to her that, oh, secretly, deep inside, this is how he was feeling, but he only waited until you were not in the room to say something to everybody else. Now, the fact is, like I said, in my opinion, I feel like Sammy, he's the one who escalated. He's the ringleader of this. But at the same time, Jonas is, um, <laughs> I'm about to say nephew, uncle could have been the other ringleader. Ooh, excuse me. Because really, think about it. He got very upset and he instantly wanted to go ahead and expel his own nephew all to save Sammy's butt. Something about that's a little off to me because if that's your family... You would do everything in your power to save your family member, correct? Yes. I, I mean, I've been through that situation where it's like, if someone, if I have to make a family member look good, even if they're not the greatest, you do what you have to do for them because that's your family member. So if it's have, if you have to throw someone else under the bus, then you throw someone under the bus, you know, for your family. And, and I mean, cause, can that kind of be the same with coworkers and such? Kind of. Um, because depending on, like, how your relationship is with your coworkers, those could be, like, your, um, your family away from your actual family and stuff. And so sometimes, yeah, depending on it. But there is a moment where they went too far and it was trying to burn the crap out of An's hands. That is so freaking ridiculous. And I feel bad for her being in this situation because if Shadow did not show up in time, she wouldn't have been able to do anything again. And she has such a talent and a drive and strife for sugar confectionery and making it and such into these gorgeous works of art that it, it's still hilarious to me that these guys are super duper jealous of her. And it's like, yeah, you got talent too, but clearly she is more vastly knowledgeable than you are. I don't know how many years she's been in it. I mean, she's like, what, 14, 15, 16? in this and so she's been helping her mom since like day fucking one since she's kind of really been at a young age so of course yeah you got kids like sammy and the rest of them being like okay this girl barely knows anything she knows her ish but the the grading schedule uh, the grading schedule the grading level or superiority level it is by far that standard and knowing you're honing your craft she just knows more and so yeah i like i said i do get why sammy and the rest of the guys were revolting but you're doing it in the wrong way trying to take her out or even destroying her stuff is still an effed up move that's still it's still going to drive her to be better and, and my thing is like <laughs> y'all really that jealous <laughs> Excuse me. Like, y'all really that jealous that y'all getting your butt kicked by a girl. I feel so bad for y'all. <laughs> I can't. And then Bridget with her BS and going into the previous episode and continuing to this. And now that the fact is that, you know, on and Shadow they've talked about this and they moved on it on format and being like, okay, bygones be bygones. Like, let's not let this 
break us. Let's just move on from this and let's just continue on our relationship and just focusing on us. But I don't know how this second half or really not the second half, the second episode of our quote unquote mid season finale is going to end before we start the second half of this show. But honestly, I am very curious to see how it is all going to go. If on is going to win, um, Jonas, maybe any one of these guys, like I, I feel like something is going to happen. We're just going to be like, wait, 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 Look at myself. Look at what I did. Ain't this pretty? Ain't this gorgeous and such? But now the fact is that both her and Jonas have now been, you know, exiled from the school. Where can they go now? Freaking sucks. But go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode 12. Okay, episode 12 in 3, 2, 1, go. But the thing is, it's not your fault. And we both know that. Both of them know that as well. How though? thing is like if they're basically both trying to prove like her innocence and because the fact is tomorrow is the situation for the competition and everything she only they only have a certain amount of hours is that really enough time to prove how bad Sammy is as a person so can we say one more thing about Bridget I, I mean once again girly is desperate but I don't think she's that desperate to steal the wing. But at the same time, I do think she is that desperate to steal the wing. She wants she to do all to herself as a quote-unquote pet. Just being like, oh, no, I'll treat you right. I'll give you all these sugar confectionaries around you. Surround you with beautiful, beautiful, beautiful things. But that's not what he wants and such. And it's like, okay, me, like I said, my, my love language is gift receiving i love receiving gifts at the same time but i still want my significant other to spend time with me but there might be a time where i'm super pissed at him and i'm be like hey yo you can't buy your way out of this you gotta sit and we gotta talk this ish out and such and so i don't like the fact that she really wants to keep him as her so-called pet because it's like girl he's not a pet he, he's a, he's not a human being, but he's a fairy who has feelings and he wants to sometimes maybe talk his feelings over. It's so like, if you can't understand that, bye. Bye-bye. Like, don't associate with him anymore. Wait. You say that, but I don't really think you mean it. And then there he goes. The fact that he is just like standing over her watching her sleep. A little stalker is being sweet. <laughs> No, oh my god.
<laughs> what? But she needs to know. Girl, will you shut up? I mean, damn. <laughs> she worse than me, oh sister. Hello. Sammy. Well, yeah, that would be the smartest way to get rid of it. See, my thing is, what the hell you gonna wait until now to say something? You should have opened your mouth in the beginning. This bitch. Woo, Jesus. Jesus. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you ain't supposed to stay in. God. Oh my God. Oh no, 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 no.
gone. I mean, you need to say something, girl. Like, Jesus. Who did it? Hold up, Shadow. We don't want to threaten her. You're going to make sure to. Girl. Okay, hold on. What if she secretly hit it, though? I go. Try this. Yeah. 
Ja. I mean, in the end, she had to do what she could do just to prove her innocence. <laughs> but it's true though The fact that these guys be over here thinking they can get away with this. <laughs> Oh. Gorgeous.
No, don't press it, my guy. Mm hmm. And get him back. No. I gave her your wing. She won but lost at the same time. Traded his wing for you. Okay. Let let me just say this. If I had to watch this episode when this was airing and knowing though y'all had to wait, I think y'all had to wait like what a whole season um for anime up for this to continue on. Oh, I would have been peeved, but the fact that I just cuz okay, initially like I think today's today's Thursday, today's things gave me duh. Um, I had originally downloaded episode what I thought was 12, but I'm guessing it was 24. Thinking that I downloaded all of part two, and I just finished part downloading part two in episode 11 while I was recording and such. But, yeah, I would have been very peeved with this ending being like, oh my god, they're probably not going to be able to see each other again for like a hot minute because I'm guessing the first two or four episodes of the second half, so episode 12 to episode 14 will be, not 14, 15, my bad, will be definitely trying to get Shadow back from Bridget. Now, like I said, I get the reason on why he did it because of the fact is he he really cares for On. These two have really grown in the span of 12 episodes, especially when he started, you know, at first calling her Scarecrow and then slowly but surely calling her by her name, but then going back to call her Scarecrow, but he still cares for her just like a typical man and such um because not all men are like that some men are like that but he still does really much care for her if he didn't he wouldn't have hugged her that long as he did so we know that he religiously cares for her and that he will do anything for her even if it is sacrificing and selling his freedom to someone else in order to get her and to make her be happy that's the biggest thing but at the same time because of the fact is He's now officially sold off by someone 
and how, you know, very much upset on is about this that little family that she's had for a couple of episodes with her mithril and shadow it's broken now and so she's gonna do everything that she can maybe she might even end up for like relinquishing her title of a master to get him back i, I don't really know I don't know, but another thing I will say is the first half of this was really good. Jonas going from a lovable character to antagonist so quickly and very tasteful and twisted was like the highlight because number one, I was not expecting him out of all the characters in this show to be the antagonist for her because it's like, oh, okay, he's sweet. He wants to do the same thing. He loves her. He's going to chase her down and stuff. But then when you started seeing the red flags, you know, it, it's like when you are dating someone for the first time and because you are so blinded by love and being in love with them, you don't see all those little itty bitty red flags. But when that love, like the honeymoon phase, slowly but surely dwindles and you start seeing red flags or things that you really didn't like about him or her you either get the ick or you just be like hey we need to end this like uh-uh like mm, you do this is that and the third and i don't really like that and such so you know also don't tell it to your significant other like if, if there is something you don't like then yeah definitely talk to them about it see if they can change some things about that but don't let that be the biggest reason on why you want to end the relationship. It has to be for something else. Like if they, you know, either weren't happy, cheated, whatever. But not because it's like, oh, hey. um, <laughs> He likes to eat ketchup with his macaroni and cheese. Like that. We all did that as kids. It's probably weird and, so, and such. But I think somebody would definitely think that's a red flag. But it does make me wonder, as I said, what, how far... How is I going to do this and how far is she willing to go to get Chetadu back? Baby could literally do anything. Her mind. Up to her mind. Or right, she could do anything that... Yeah, I'm tired a little bit. <laughs> she could do anything that she can do to get him back. That's all I will say about that. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction for you towards the first half of Sugar Apple Fairy Tale. If you guys enjoy it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos if you want to join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday <clears throat> for the start of the second half of this series, aka episodes 12, no, 13 and 14. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!